what orchid best represents you? That was a question I was posed by Anna Vogtia on my Orchids Are My Kryptonite video. It didn't take me long, 10 seconds, 15 seconds at most, to come up with Cerato Stylus philippinensis which I got on the 24th of November last year from the Orchid Room, Melissa Walker and Michael McCarthy. That is one of the reasons it represents me best. But let's get to what are we doing here. First, thank you very, very much for being here. I appreciate your time. And I'm going to try and be as comprehensive and concise as I possibly can without going off into much of a tangent. If my tag would just go back in, something like that. All right. Based on this question in the comments from Anna Bogdia, I answered her and I gave her in a nutshell why I thought Serato Stylus Philippinensis best represents me. And then I emailed her. I had an idea because I was going to ask her the same thing in the comments. And I thought it was a fabulous question. And I asked her, how about we start an orchid tag based on which orchid best represents you? Would you be interested to do a video together? And I didn't want to have her answer regarding which orchid best represents her, but let's do a video together, post it on the same day, and tag two channels to then hopefully get an orchid tag started based on the question, which orchid best represents you? And I hope that this orchid tag will gain some traction because I think it's a fabulous question. So thank you so much, Anavok Gia for this question in my comments. And before I do a request video, I thought, let's see how we can combine this and see how many of the orchid channels can get together and tag each other and do an orchid tag so that as many people as possible can answer this question. That is what we're doing here today. When I see Anna Borgia's video, I will link that in the description below. So that is what is going on. Orchid tag, which orchid best represents you? My answer is Serato Stylus Philippinensis. Why? <laughs> well, just look at her, right? She's tiny, has nothing to do with me. I'm six foot. She's slender. I'm not slender anymore. <laughs> I've got the bulge, but look at her growth habit. She is all over the place. And that's me. I am all over the place as well. She's growing really well, sort of. I am growing really well, growing as in le bulge in the center, but she's adapting to the circumstances that she's finding herself in. I am adapting to the circumstances I am finding myself in as well. She might not like the circumstances she is finding herself in, but she's coping, same as me. I do not like the circumstances I am in at all, but I am coping. Another point that makes me feel as though she represents me best, she won't bloom. Despite the fact that she's doing all right, she's growing nicely, she won't bloom. I did have a bloom from her probably about three weeks after I received her, but that was not my doing. She was already in bud when she arrived. But in my care so far, no blooms. And the same with me, even though I'm doing all right, Every day, at a time, one step. I don't have any more blooms, so to speak, in me as far as I can make the comparison between the beauty of an orchid blooming as opposed to me as a person existing and being beautiful at the same time. <laughs> I'm just trying to connect the impact of an orchid in bloom and the impact of me as I just exist in these times but there is no spark, no bloom. There is nothing that goes, that's Nina. So that is the connection I'm making. I am not fishing for any kind of comments, okay? But that is exactly how I see it. I can't be more candid and honest with regards to that connection and my connection and how this orchid represents me. And there's another thing. In order to make her happy, like really happy, she is not in the right conditions in my climate for most part of the year. It is far too dry for her. And long term, unfortunately, my hot months aren't long hot months for her. Her conditions change. Her preferences are hot months all year round and high humidity all year round. And that doesn't apply to me here. So this is another thing that I find why this orchid represents me 
to a T. She lives in a bubble. In order for her little microclimate and her surroundings in there to be as steady for her as possible, high humidity, nice heat, and lots of light can penetrate through. But it is that bubble that she has as a little setup, even though it is crude. All of that is me. I am happiest when I am in my bubble, my patio, no outside interferences. I can do what I have to do with the orchids, with YouTube, communicating with you through the comments, filming. That is my happy space. That is my bubble. And it is this little bubble for the Serrata stylus philippinensis that has maintained her to be growing happily and not frazzle and become oregano during the hottest months of the year when I have also very strong winds. And the final point is the connection to friendship that this orchid represents. That also reflects for me what I showed you in the beginning. I got her from the orchid room, Melissa Walker and Michael McCarthy. After one of my pups passed away, my friend of 14 years, I was Je suis désolé, I still am, but a package arrived from my favorite nursery, Rosrechner Orchidin, and the three of them had gotten together and sent a care package, which was one of the hardest unboxings I've ever filmed. But it is this connection to the friendship that also confirms to me that this orchid is the one that best represents me. Friendships, even though I've never met any of you, never met the Orchid Room, Michael McCarthy, Melissa Walker, ever, just on this platform. But based on friendships, this orchid also represents me, 280. So I am going to tag Trisha's Orchid Life and Fernanda Nacimiento Orchids and Succulents to ask you which orchid best represents you. This would be interesting. I'm looking forward to your videos and I'm also going to ask you to tag people you know watch your videos so that we can keep this chain going. I'm hoping that we will get quite a few interesting correlations between an orchid and personalities on the channels. So Trisha's Orchid Life and Fernanda Nacimiento Orchids and Succulents. If you tag other people then in your videos, please feel free to also only tag one channel if you want to just tag one. Anna Vogia and I will be tagging two channels just to get the ball rolling. Let's spread it out as fast as possible and hope that this tag will catch on. I love this question, Anna Vogue. Really appreciate it. Looking forward to seeing if we can't get some response out of this. So that would be awesome. Meanwhile, Serrata Stylus Filipinensis, for all the reasons that I've mentioned, best represents me and I love her. Okay, and here's something I would like to encourage. Anybody who is sitting, who has never done a video before, doesn't, so to speak, have a channel. There are so many of you growing out there, and as you listen to this video, did one orchid jump to mind? Despite the fact that you may have never done a video, would this be an opportunity for you to also think, you know, I know of an orchid, I'll put it in front of the camera, I'll talk about it and I'll speak why that orchid represents me best. So if you've never ever done a video before and you're right now thinking, dang, that orchid represents me X, Y, Z. How about you grab the camera, put the orchid into the viewfinder, hit record, talk about it and post it and let me know that you've posted it. Send me your video link into the comments of this video and I'll make sure that I'll put it out on a community tab or somehow it'll get out there that despite not having a channel, you actually related to this video, you found the orchid that represents you and you made a video. We will somehow figure this out. And for the time being, just put in the title, the name of the orchid with a hashtag, this orchid best represents me. And we'll get your video out somehow. For the time being, orchid channels, let's get this orchid tag going. But anybody sitting there going, I don't do videos, but that orchid came to mind, get the camera out and join in. Leave your link in the comments of this video and we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Have yourselves a great day. Appreciate your time. Please stay safe and take care. Bye.